Hi everybody, it's me Jen, and I am still not done with the baby album, but I have to take it today. Hopefully she'll let me have it back so I can finish it, but I wanted to share what I have done with so far because, yeah, if she doesn't let me have it back to finish it, then I'll never be able to share it. So this is huge, like completely huge. This I think is seven inches. Okay, we're getting rid of that today. Seven inches, um, eight and three quarters by I think nine, I don't remember. I didn't measure a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff I went eyeball. So I, What did I do? I ironed <laughs> this material onto some glue back stuff material. <laughs> yeah, but um, just to give it a little extra strength. And this is um, some canvas stuff. So I wanted a sturdy base. You know what I'm saying? So this wasn't the fabric I wanted, but it was the only jungle one I could find. And it says Sweet Dreams, so or Sweet Dream Hugs. I don't know who Flutterbug is, but I don't care. <clears throat> and then I just did a simple um, side. I'm not decorating it. It doesn't matter. And then this is the ribbon that Brenda sent that I said I was going to try to incorporate, and I did. Now... I did do the expandable hinge, and I do love this. I really, really do. So, but I don't. You'll see. Well, you won't see. It just, I'm afraid it's going to fall, rip apart. I really am afraid. Um, so this is the page I didn't get done. This will be the newborn page. I want a pocket in there. I want a foldable um, page that is also like a two-pager. It'll be folded, and then you'll be able to open it again, and I'm going to have some little inserts in there. So that's that, even though it's not done. So, and I... <coughs> this, I did not copy anybody's um, tutorial. This was all mine. I mean, I got inspiration from people, and I've gotten imp imp inspiration from so many people that I couldn't even tell you who, but thank you. But I wanted my album to be mostly to fit four by sixes. I mean, you could definitely put a three and a half by five in here, no problem, but it should fit a four by six. Um... I didn't make journaling spots. Well, not yet. My journaling spots are actually going to be in here in the little pullouts because I don't understand this concept of having journaling spots on something that's not smooth, that you can't remove to pull out. And I mean, when I'm writing, I want to be able to write freely. So that's that thought. And I wanted, like, most pictures are three by, or the lengthwise. Not the t the portrait rise. So let's get into this. All these pa pieces coordinate like side by side. Get out of there. So this has this one and this one will have the last page, but whatever. So there's this little flap and it opens up. And this I had fun with, even though it, it screwed my head a little bit. So. All these little dots I put on here to um, show where to, how to open the page. So you open it up, and there's this. I don't. Um, little Safari was the paper collection I used. The paper pad. I got the embellishment pack to go with it, and I used everything but one piece of paper. So plus I had to throw a couple extra in. This was not part of the pack, but I liked it. So then this one, 
and this is going to be tricky. And I did still have to use other papers. Like this is missing a little corner, so that's why I stuck this sticker on this piece of paper and stuck it over there. This was another one I used, and I just stamped and embossed the elephant on there. This one, I just used two different pieces of paper, and it's a tuck spot. Do we have anything? There. So she can actually put something in there if she wanted to. Then the lion. Here's another page I made up. I used the cream paper. There's two, this is like a darker tan and then the cream, or a tan and a cream. So I used a cream and then I patched this together, making the kangaroo part of it, or the focal point. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't want that to come off. Because there was safety pins on one of the papers, I did this one, which I, I, I just love it. And then we have the banners and, oops, that. This was not my favorite paper, but, you know, I needed it. So, let's get this back on there. Because, even though I cleaned this three times to make sure all the mica was up, I wanted, I just didn't trust it. Oops. So then we have these two pages, and those, this is page or month one, month two. <clears throat> so this has a flap. I'm sorry, you can't see everything. It's just impossible. <laughs> um, I didn't do a lot of decorating. I wanted to give her some or them room to decorate like I did a little but not much and then that so that's that and then yeah this one see I didn't have a piece long enough so I just put a little bit extra there and that's that one And because that was the back page, I used that as the front element on that one, which this one just goes simple, but I love these papers. And she's doing a safari theme, or yeah, a, a safari theme, that's why I went with this paper. Like I could have put something here, but I figure she can put her picture in and then put her stickers or whatever around there. I love this one. This, um, I didn't glue down the whole way, but I fussy cut that out. Proud of me, Irina. <laughs> so, yeah. These two pages, I just feel like there's not that many picture spots in it. This album does have over 220 places to put pictures, and I that was not counting up this page. But see, that matches and that matches. And then this was all like that. See, I love the expandable bind like this. I really, really do. I did get inspiration from somebody on this like a month ago. But I can't remember who it was. I know I saw somebody else do it afterwards. But it wasn't that person. It was somebody else. So, this is month four. I don't like this actually because... It's so hard to open. So I didn't even put um, anything into it. I was going to put like a little folio in there. But it's too hard to get into. So whatever. And I did use the um, Brad from Shannon. And I left the back on glued so that we have this little... Um, album 
and then this pops up and we have that oh can you see so this has this one on it I got the um, dimensional stickers to go with it and that one and then that page and because that was under all these I just used a flat sticker and then there's that see like there wasn't many spots here for pictures but I felt you know I think there's at least 13 in this one I'm not sure I'm not gonna even try to count but let's get back to this so this opens up I mean I left or detailed everything that goes down and then this is a little pull out so that's just that gosh I wish I had more room <laughs> and then there's a little pull up see these are the only pages I didn't get done too because I didn't have the paper to do it but like the that would actually be like a perfect spot to make your own like little collage and everything's magnetized and this is my favorite page it took me a while to figure out exactly where to put this how to cut it out I just love that love it and I love how it's coordinating so the back page is no that's not it who cares you know what who cares it's just gorgeous I love this one this one's awesome so this flips over like that and then I mean look at all I mean there's plenty of spots for photos right this is definitely a photo album I thought this was so cute the cub chasing after the daddy I did not do that I forgot that lovely and then we have this one which this was not part of the album or the collection but I needed another piece it was polka dots I thought it went good enough so I thought that was cute Oops. okay we have this that pulls out they both pull out and then I did the elephant with the hearts. Oh, this is my. Come on. I made it so that the elephant is. Come on. Blowing hearts all the way up. I thought that was cute. Really cute. Let's get this back all the way on. So, and then there's that spot. And this has a little tuck spot. That's the main page. You know, and these will fit five by sevens, no problem. So there's that one. Oh. And then we have this one. It's just the reverse. And I kind of struggled with this one. <laughs> And then that one, I wanted to get, that was like the daddy page. This was like the mommy page. And this opens up. It's the same thing as the other one. And I did these like this. Let's go down. That's the main page. I just thought this was kind of like monkey holding onto a monkey. And I love the giraffe. And then we have that. And this one says play, learn, and explore. They are tuckable. Oh. Let's go. And then I, one lesson I did learn is oops don't use glitter paper on um 
a fold. This ripped up and like I said, I was running out of paper, so I had to deal with what I did. So I, I dabbed some um, ink on there. So thank God I had a color close to it. So I mean, it's ripping, but it's thick paper, so. And yeah, I mean, yeah, I had to be so careful to make sure the words were actually um, correctly positioned. This said growing up, so I cut all the growing up off from it. I was going to try to place it somewhere, but I didn't get to it. I did not get to bed until, I didn't get done with this until 5 o'clock this morning. And I've been working on this three and a half weeks, we'll say. And should have done that from the beginning, huh? But before this, I actually started another album for somebody else. And it was like my template. So I, I've been working on this forever. So we have the same, you know, little envelope here. This is a smaller one because I wanted this showing down here. We have the clouds. The clouds was actually one of my favorite papers. And here's another one of Shannon's Brad's. And then this one lifts up. Okay, I really want to show you. I, you know, I went a little overboard on the decoration on this one, but oh well. I mean, they'll peel off, I guess. The banner, the elephant, the stars, and the rhino. Rhino was one of my favorite decorations. We have the rhino and the lion in there. The green polka dots. The banners. This one, I just put sweet dreams on there. And I don't know if you can tell, but the dreams, it was just dream. So I couldn't make sweet dream that sounded weird to me so i had to cut the s out of a different package that they do not match and then the little heart in there we got the green polka dot the animal print and then that's warping i wonder why oh well but there's that and if you're noticing like they are going in reverse pattern. There's no way I could have came up with 12 different ideas. So this one pops this way. Ooh, didn't decorate that one. Oh well, she can do that. Or I can if I get it back. I like this fern pattern too. And I don't understand how Safety pins fit into um, a safari theme, but that's all right. Oh, so there's that one. And then we have the flipper upper with the banners. This one, see, I made a whole bunch of, this was a leftover piece of scrap. And then I put a little bit of the brown border on there that did come from one of the pages. And there, it's all tuckable. So you can fit a picture in there. This, see, could have been the scrap from that page. This is tuckable. I just think it all goes great together. We have the safety pins and there was safety pin stickers in there so that I just put them right there and there's still plenty of room for a picture. I'm going to give her one of those little mini cutters so she can cut down the pictures if she wants to. But I love how it all come, came together. I really do. Even though I struggled with this. See, like I mean, I love this expandable hinge, right? Like it's all laying pretty much flat. So, I mean, that's awesome. And then we have this one. 
I just felt like it needed that piece there. And then we have this, the I love you paper again, the stripes, the babies, another one where I had to make some up because I just, I just didn't have the piece big enough. Um, so I added that behind that and I think it looks good. I mean, I don't think it's that much of a drastic difference. This is another pocket, but I still, the, a five by seven, I mean, a four by six will still fit in there that way. I use the stamps again, or yeah, the stamps to do this. I used what I did because I didn't have any like pastel colors, even though they don't look too pastel, but they would have been darker if I didn't, did, didn't do this. I stamped in the white, dabbed it off, and then stamped into the color so that it lightened the colors up. And because you know, these are all the basic colors that were in there. The green, the tan, the purple, the darker green, the brown, and you probably can't see it, but there is a white there. There's three whites. There's three of each. So that's why I did that that way. And then we have that. Not my favorite paper either. And then we have this one. Let's see if we can move this just a little. Yeah, we probably can't. But I think, yeah. The button sides are all glued down, but this and this one, I don't know if you can see that, no, nope, are left open. So if they want to put a picture behind it, they can. And that is that one. And because I made this all for the landscape pictures I made this up which is going to be deformed just because I made it thick and there's space so that when you add the pictures it's not going to like not close anymore but I love this I, there's this little detail and then that so and it's all um, an accordion I did use an awful lot of this because this was the only single sheet piece of paper that I could get at Hobby Lobby. So I got four of them. I sh should put a piece there. And then I should put a piece there. So yeah. But yeah, this will fit four by sixes. And that's it. But the part I don't like ugh, is I know I used something from somebody else too in here. Somebody else sent me something and I said I was going to use it. And I did use it, but I can't remember who. So if you lift this up and you were just to like pick this up, look at it. Okay, oops. Like that's going to rip. One time of not paying attention when you go to pick this up and, or a child, which I don't think a child could. I mean, this is a good, a good 10 pounder, maybe 15 pounder folio. At our album I'm not kidding it's that heavy so and I meant to put the plastic sheeting behind there and because it was four o'clock in the morning I totally forgot even though I had a piece there in front of me so I won't forget yeah um, I don't like that at all and I don't know how to fix it, it I have no idea because if somebody just picks it up it's broken the weight of these is completely broken. I did get um, a bag. Let me grab it. I 
I grabbed this bag when I first started collecting this stuff because it went with the paper product. And I was going to put it on there, but I don't like it on there, honestly. I mean, I don't know. I think this is good enough. And that's it. I hope you like this. Um, I will be back now. I won't be stressing out and trying to figure out what's going on. And I haven't talked to anybody lately, so I am so sorry for that. But, yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.